Hey there, if you're watching this video, then you are probably here because you just finished watching part one of this video series and you are ready to see how I took this and turned it into this. So in part two of this video series, I am going to show you how I spray painted this logo sign, how I did that ombre effect so you can see the shading from like beige to green, okay? I'm also going to show you how I glued up the sign to make it a finished product to finally give to somebody. So without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, so in part one of this video tutorial, I talked about how I wanted to cut some of my letters out of black acrylic just so I could save time. Now, because this logo has like this ombre fading effect, I can't really just use exclusively acrylic. Otherwise, personally, I would. So I have to paint this. However, I can save on time by cutting some of the letters out of black acrylic. So that's what you see me doing here. I'm making sure that I have 3M double-sided adhesive on one side, and that's gonna help me stick everything together later. All right, so now that I have cut all of my pieces, before I lift them up, I am actually going to use painter's tape and put that on top of my letter so I can keep everything together and it's gonna make transferring it over to my sign really easy. Okay, so first I have to divide all the pieces up by the color so I can start spray painting them. I've run into one tiny issue and that is these little bits and pieces. They won't hold Hold on. They won't hold, obviously, on a spray can. And I could spray paint them, but they will have bulged paint down at the bottom, which is what I'm afraid of. Uh, I could go get a shoe rack that has, you know, I left it at home and then I'd have to put that off, but whatever. So for now, I'm just gonna separate everything and I'll figure it out as I go. Okay, so I'm ready to spray paint. Now, I am a little nervous. I, spray paint always makes me nervous. I never have good luck with it until I started using um, Molotow, 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 Molotow. This, this I love. This does not make me nervous. However, it takes forever to ship and I didn't have enough time to wait for that. So I had to go get close colors at, you know, Lowe's or Home Depot, I forget. I think I got them from everywhere. So. The thing is, if you look at the logo, hopefully you guys can see it on my phone here, there's a shading in between, right? It goes from like this creamy color into the green and there is like, I don't know, an ombre effect or whatever. So I am praying that I do this well. I tested it already. I already had this green. I needed to get something more green to the, you know, the logo color and then the cream color. So I took a piece of scrap wood. I think I can do it. Just know that this, this makes me nervous. This, this stuff is the stuff that gives me anxiety. So wish me luck, guys. As you see me spray painting here, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to go heavy right on the edges so that I get a nice pure green towards the mouth of the gator and a nice uh, creamy white towards the, the mouth of the um, bulldog. Then as the green comes up to the white, I'm pulling back kind of so that I'm not as close as I was when I was working on the tip of the mouth so that I can cry, you know, hopefully create that ombre effect that I'm going for. And another thing I'm trying to do is I'm trying to spray paint the other green and the other layers that I need to mix here while everything's still wet and can kind of mix. I'm not letting it dry in between coats when I'm trying to create that fading effect. Okay, so 
There are a little bit of splatter here from my Molotov paint, actually, and I don't know if you can tell here, guys, but that's freaking me out. There's bubbles there. I shaked it like crazy. The instructions say to wait one minute in between. It's been a minute. I'm going to go at it again and pray that I've done it. I think the shade looks pretty decent here. I'm not going to go crazy over it. I just want it to look clean and finished, so wish me luck. let it dry I'm gonna let it dry the bubbles seem to be hidden a little better with another coat so <sighs> we'll see Okay, so with this one, with the white paint, I don't want it to pull up at the bottom since I have all these tiny pieces taped down. So I have to be careful about going on with very thin coats. So I did one coat here, as you can see, and so far nothing's pulling at the bottom. And I'll give it a minute wait time in between and then um, give it another coat. is the stuff that gives me anxiety like why why is it doing that why I shaked it super great I did thin coats now it's only doing it on the beige this is why I only like to use Molotov oh and hate using you know off-the-counter stuff look there's this one little piece I don't know why that one's doing that like what the heck not cool so I don't know what to do. Now I'm gonna let it totally dry and try giving it another coat. I have no idea. Now, if you look at the green, the green actually turned out really nice. It's not giving me any, any reason to freak out. Nice and beautifully smooth. So the only difference, actually it's nothing. I got the same style paint and primer for both of them. Why? Okay, so the filler primer on the letters, I did that this morning, it's already dried beautifully and I love that I really don't have anything that I'm gonna need to sand. It's pretty dry, I should let it dry a little bit more, so I'm gonna do that. But you can see it's looking nice and smooth and I'm not gonna have to sand anything. Maybe a couple of little spots, but I don't, I don't really see much going on, so I'm excited about that. I'm gonna give it an, another hour and while that dries, I'm gonna cut the acrylic and I have decided that I am going to, oops, sorry, motorcycles driving by. I've decided that I'm gonna hand paint the tongue because it's a very small piece and I didn't wanna buy a whole can of spray paint just for that, so I'm gonna hand paint that. All right, you guys, this is where we're at. I spray painted this this morning. Everything is beautiful, or I think it's pretty freaking good, except for right here. There's like these random spots. Hopefully you can see it. See that? These random spots where there are bubbles and it doesn't look good at all. And uh, this stuff is being a pain. I've tried giving it another coat. It still does the bubbling. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna go see if I can find a closer color in a different brand. And I found this. So I tested it on the little piece that goes like right here and it looks really good and it's not doing the crazy bubble thing. See that? So I think I'm gonna do something crazy and try to give it one last coat before the rainstorm that's about to happen. Check this out. try to pull this off before the rainstorm begins I hope I don't make like a horrible horrible mistake cross your fingers my friends here I go I 
I think I saved it. So I'm leaving that alone. I'm not touching anything else. We're done. Okay, I lied. I might give it a little spritz there. Some green kind of got in spots where I didn't want it. Okay, we're done. I'm not touching it. I think I salvaged it. Let's pray. Okay, my friends, the storm is getting ready to come, but I'm feeling way more confident. I was able to salvage the main piece. And these all, these, um, these filled out beautifully. And there's only one that's a little bumpy, which is right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of smooth it out with my gator zip. Oh my goodness, there's the thunder. <laughs> I'm living on the edge here, but I need this to dry overnight. So I am going to spray paint these because this is the last thing that needs to be painted. And um, the word bull gator, again, it does the same thing as, as the, the name. It goes from white to green and it's the L and the G that have that shading. So I'm gonna try and get it on camera again for you guys. And hopefully tomorrow morning I can assemble it and be done. Here's another tip when you're spray painting letters. See how I've turned this B upside down? I'm, I'm spraying it from the back. That's because I'm trying to get into those little nooks and crannies inside the letter. And, and so I'm just gonna spritz it a little bit from behind, then I'm gonna flip it back over and spray paint the top part. Um, and you're gonna find that this will help you a ton when it comes to getting into those tight little, you know, um, corners where the letters bend. Okay guys, so it is now day two. Things are mostly dried. I couldn't help myself, so I am doing a dry fit already on everything. But as you can see, no bubbles. You know, it's pretty, pretty smooth. I'm not gonna mess with it anymore. I'm very happy with how it's turning out. These teeth, surprisingly, are still a little tacky which is kind of annoying. Everything else feels more dry than these. So I'm gonna have to let them dry more. And you'll see a little bit of paint in some parts um, got, you know, I, I'm gonna have to sand off those little edges of, of residue paint. Now this, it really doesn't look that bad in person. It kind of actually looks intentional. <laughs> so that's how I'm gonna, that's how I'm gonna leave it. All right, so I'm gonna let everything continue to dry for another day and then I will glue it all together. All right, so now I'm getting ready to glue on my black acrylic letters. And you'll notice that I, I intentionally made a rectangle around my words because that I was gonna use that as a template to get perfect placement with my letters. And that's why I also used the blue painters tape to hold it all in place because now all I have to do is lay the word flat, make sure it's nice and straight and that it's centered and then I can go ahead and um, adhere everything together. I should also mention that this is a pre-made sign from Hobby Lobby. I did not have time to build out the frame and to be quite frankly, you know, to be quite honest with you, um, I do not like making signs. I want to do as little as possible here. So anyhow, it's a pre-made sign and that's why I haven't scored it for placement or anything. I think using the rectangle cutout around the word is enough to help me get, you know, things nice and straight and um, centered. You'll notice that for the majority of this project, I have used 3M double-sided adhesive just because it's so much faster. Um, but 
The, for the head, I chose to use glue instead just because it's a large piece and I wanted to save 3M on that because it's this, something big like this, it's okay to, like for me, it's okay to glue. But when I have like hundreds of teeny tiny pieces, that's where I prefer to have the 3M. You know, there's another thing I wanna point out here, and that's the fact that I used eighth of an inch um, MDF for the tongue, whereas for the teeth and the, the head of the bull gator, I used a quarter inch. And I did that intentionally just to kind of create a little bit of dimension so you could see how like the tongue is like inside the mouth. Just keep that in mind. That's another technique that you can do um, when you're trying to create dimension with your pieces is using different thicknesses or evil, even double stacking in some cases, depending on how dramatic of depth, you know, how, how dramatic the depth is that you're trying to create. Well, my friends, that was a ton of work. <laughs> I know some of you are gonna ask me how much would you charge for something like that? There's no price. Like, honestly, that is probably the amount of work that goes into it, especially when you're not like a seasoned person with all of this stuff. I mean, I can do these things, right? But I'm by no means a professional. I just do them for like the love of somebody that I love very much and wanna create a sign for. So. What I do know is that people who sell shaped signs like this really, I mean, you could, you saw how much work went into this darn thing, right? So uh, $400 plus, um, but I did not charge for this because like I said, this is something I just do out of like love for somebody. So anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Hope you learned something. I hope it helps you. Um, should you want to make signs like this in the future, uh, make sure you connect with me on social media. I want to connect with you guys. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. And with that, guys, I'll see you guys here soon over at That Mom with a Laser. Bye, guys. <laughs>